So if you guys can remember, about a year ago when I started YouTube, I had Squishy, and Squishy was my first Crested Gecko that I had to assist hatch. Now, I only had to assist hatch because the shell was not very crunchy, it was more kind of like leathery, and he was having a hard time getting out, so I was trying to help him, and I showed you guys that journey. Now, today what we have going on is we had two more Crested Geckos hatch, which I'm super excited to show you guys, but there's a little bit of a difference. and. Thankfully, I did not have to assist hatch these guys, so I'm going to show you guys the two new babies that we have, and I'm also going to show you how I set up their tank, so stick around. I'm going to show you the first one that hatched out first, and then I'm going to show you the second one because they did hatch out on two different days so the first one actually they were both laid on 213 one hatched out on 427 and one hatched out on 428 so one day apart so basically the first one was incubated for 73 days and the second one was incubated for 74 days now ideally you would like to shoot their incubation time to be around 80 to 100 days um to promote bigger crest growth and just healthier geckos to absorb more of the yolk sac and the yolk in there but it's not the end of the world and honestly all i'm gonna do is move where i keep the eggs because it's starting to get warmer now so that could have honestly made the process go a little bit faster now look at this little cutie i am so excited every single time i see sif and odie babies now if you guys don't know who sif is i'll pop a picture up now and if you don't know who odie is i'll pop up a picture now too um, they are my Dalmatian Crested Geckos. Odie is a confetti Crested Gecko because he's got multiple different color spots. So basically, this is what I do when I set up a tank. Now, I'm going to quickly show you guys what I do with the egg, how I set up the tank. So basically, I wasn't really expecting these two, honestly. So I was expecting them to be a little bit longer, so I didn't make their tank yet. So I just quickly threw in some plants. Um, I like to keep it as bare as possible. I literally just put in two different kinds of plants, a little toilet paper hide, and a water dish now i'm gonna end up putting the egg in there too in a second i'll show you guys but basically what i do is since there are some of the pangea hatch medium on the egg i really don't want the gecko to try to eat it i don't think that they would but just in case so basically what i do is i try to wipe off all of the pangea hatch without spilling too much of the inside of the egg that's left over so that way they can still eat it if they want to which that wasn't really going well for me this time but in the past it has worked pretty well so that's typically what I do with that. And then what I try to do is I try to gently move the gecko. They're kind of spazzy, honestly, as soon as they start moving because they don't really move that much. And as soon as you touch them, they kind of just run. So that's the biggest thing is knowing, you know, don't be too rough or too aggressive with them. They're just kind of going to run and you kind of just got to wait for them to crawl onto your hands. You can put them into their tank. But basically what I do first is I give them a once over because I want to make sure that they don't have any Pangea hatch on their body. That way, when they shed for the first time, they're not accidentally going to eat it. So basically what I do is sometimes I'll take like a wet Q-tip or something like that if they have any Pangea hatch and just gently rub it off. But luckily, these guys both didn't have it on there. So basically, I'm just going to be able to show you. Well, this one had one, but I ended up taking it off. But yeah, we're going to put this little guy or girl into this tank. And then we're going to show you the second one that hatched the following day. But um, I've noticed a lot of the Sif and Odie babies that I have have pretty much been like a brindle or like a tiger dalmatian now these are super super rare i really have not seen any super dalmatians especially that have a lot of tiger or brindle in now i think it's really cool a lot of people kind of hate on dalmatian spots but i think it, they're awesome i think each one is individual and each one is unique and different and even if you have a really cool gecko the parents will not necessarily look like the baby so i mean I'm, i just think it's really cool the brindle markings and the tiger markings with the dalmatian spots so all right, now here's the second one. This one was born like a day later, like I said. So this one was incubated for 74 days. Now this one worked a little bit easier. I was able to take out all of the Pangea hatch that was on it. That way, um, if the gecko does try to eat any of the inside of the egg when I put it into the tank, it won't eat any of that Pangea hatch. So that will be good. So basically what I did was I took out the old egg from the day before because you can pretty much that's when you can throw it away now I'm gonna say this I've never put two baby crusty geckos in the same tank I'm literally only doing it for well basically until today when I'm going to make their new tanks which you guys are gonna see probably next week or the week after I'm assuming so basically I put the new egg in there and then I'm gonna grab the gecko look at it 
do a little once over this one looks like it didn't really go through its shed yet which was kind of weird it must have just recently hatched out overnight so you can kind of see some of the loose skin around the nose where it needs to kind of just pull the rest of its skin off eat it and we should be good but basically i'm gonna do the same thing that i did with the other one try to pick it up they kind of look like they're like not dead but like frozen and then all of a sudden once they move they just run and it's kind of hard to film it and it's kind of hard to grab them honestly because they're so quick and they just are kind of stiff and then just go um which is kind of cool most people don't know that about baby crested geckos but one of the biggest reasons why i love my od and sif pairing is because like i said they give me brindle dalmatians now or super dalmatians or ink spots honestly i've got like oakley has a bunch of ink spots but mater has is mostly a super dalmatian so i mean they're both kind of brindle and they get their really bright color from their dad so yeah i mean it's just really cool the different combinations of babies you get i mean if you look at little foot little foot is super super dark but then i have other ones that are extremely light based so i mean it's just kind of different and then like i said all the spots some of them are ink spots some are super dalmatian some are just dalmatian so i mean i i love having the dalmatians i think they give you a variety and you never really know what you're gonna get you can kind of see on the nose now how that skin right there right between the eyes needs to be pulled back and that gecko is gonna help itself shed actually i'm not gonna assist shed it especially since it's so little i wanted to just do it on its own i'm gonna miss the tank but here i'll show you the one that was born yesterday so they look pretty much about the same size. I have a little water dish in there. I have the two plants, I have the egg, and I have a container of food that they can go and get. Now, like I said previously, I want a bare tank. I don't want really a lot of stuff in there. I use paper towel as a substrate. I want it bare bones and simple. And that is how I set up my baby tanks, especially when they first hatch out of the egg. So I hope you guys got a lot from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be doing a Crested Gecko Care Guide next week. So make sure you guys stick around for that and subscribe if you're new. I would love to hear any comments you guys have in the, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.